Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Friends, today we are going to learn a concept that is a free cash flow concept. A free cash flow concept. As you can see in this uh, screenshot, the calculation has been given to us. How the things have been calculated. This is the year. Okay, the amount of the net income, and uh, you deduct any capex, any changes in the working capital, you add back. Based on that, you get the free cash flow to the firm, and then you discount with the help of the cost of capital. With the with terminal value, you get the final cash flows. So this is just a screenshot. But how it is calculated? Let's get in the nitty gritty of the same. The free cash flow is basically a measure of of how much, how much the cash a company generates after accounting for required working capital and capital expenditure. That is called as capex. of the company it is the measurement of the company's financial performance and health the more fcf the more free cash flow to the firm a company have the better it is and it is a financial term you can say and it is the financial term which truly determines what ex what is exactly available to distribute among the security holders of the company so fcf can be tremendously be useful measure for understanding the true profitability and of any business it's harder to manipulate and it can tell a much better story of the company than more commonly used metric like profit after tax <laughs> so free cash flow of the firm we can start with the meaning we start with fcf is nothing but a portion of the cash that remains in hand of the company after paying off all the capex like purchasing new machinery equipments land and building and satisfying all the working capital needs like account payable so fcff fcf is calculated from the cash flow statement cfs of the company a business you can say which uh, which generates a significant amount of cash after a short interval is is considered to be the best business than other similar businesses as you have to pay all your routine bills like bills like salary rent office expenses in cash only and you can't bear it from your net income so thus its business ability to generate cash that really matters to the stakeholder especially those who are more worry about liquidity okay uh, liquidity of the company then its profitability like the most important ones the suppliers always haunting around a company with sound working capital management provides strong resilient and sustainable liquidity signals and fcff is one of them and it's actually the top of that hence in corporate finance you can say in cf the corporate finance and most of the projects you know, are selected on the basis of their timing of their cash flows inflows and outflows rather than its net income because the income statement includes all the cash as well as the non cash expenditures like depreciation amortization however this non cash expenditure not the actual outflow of the cash for that particular period so it doesn't make sense let's understand the free cash flow formula the formula for the free cash flow goes something like this free cash flow is equal to your operating cash flow that is your operating cf o okay less minus you will have to do capex that is your capital expenditure so your operating cash flow minus the capital expenditure now let's say we have this data over here a balance sheet liabilities and income statement over here so what is going to be the step by step approach the first step is going to be we'll say the cash flow from the operation okay the cash flow from the ops that is the operation cash flow from the operation is the sum total of the net income and the non cash expenses like depreciation amortization in addition we add the changes in the working capital also and you need to know note something over here that this change in the working capital could be positive and it could be negative it can be in both the direction so therefore the cash flow from the operation is equal to your net income that is your ni plus any non cash expenses and plus or minus you will have any changes in the working capital in wc working capital right 
now your step two is going to be like you know you have to find out the non cash expense right now non cash expense is includes depreciation amortization here in income statement as you can see we have only depreciation over in line right so figures provided we'll assume that amortization is zero the step three is in in our calculation is going to be we have to find the changes in the working capital so our changes in the working capital will be something like this see you have your account receivable right 90 then you have for 45 in the previous year 45 19 2008 same for the inventory that is 90 and 120 so the difference of the cash impact is over here and you have the next thing that is accounts payable which we still have over here 60 and 60 so there'll be no change so this is your change in the working capital 75 once you do that we see from the above there is a change in the working capital in 2007 and 8 plus inventory of 2007 and 8 and the accounts payable so the changes in the in the working capital is going to be negative 75 and this means that there has been a cash outflow of cash outflow of minus 75 dollars due to change in the working capital now the fourth step is going to be find out the capital expenditure that is your capex now since we are not provided with the cash flow statement we'll use the balance sheet and the income statement to derive this figure figures and there are two ways to calculate the capex first either use the gross approach uh, that is the gross approach is as simple as that you have the uh, total asset gross ppv is uh, 1200 minus 900 so you will have the gross uh, uh, property planted equipment as 300 dollars you need to note that this is a cash outflow so it should be negative in 300 right and the capex that is a change in the net ppe plus depreciation and amortization of 2008 minus 7 plus any depreciation and amortization so it's going to be 1200 minus 570 minus 900 minus 420 which will give you your 300 as your outflow and you need to note that this is the cash outflow again i'm repeating now the step five that we have in line is combine all the components as simple as that in the fcff formula so we can combine the individual elements to find out the ff fcf formula and calculate the free cash flow the free cash flow is uh, over here as simple as that the net income plus any depreciation amortization any changes in the working capital okay that is your account receivable uh, inventory and uh, account payable okay and you need to deduct that is the net property plant and equipment that is and you need to add back any depreciation and amortization hence you will have the answer something like this is equal to 168 your net income plus 150 as your uh, uh, the second term 150 minus 75 less 300 so your fcff is going to fcf is going to be seven dollar now there are two kind of fcf one is called the free cash flow to the firm fcff fcff simply means that the ability to use uh, to uh, ability of the business to generate cash netting of all its expenditure and one can calculate the FCF, fcff using the cash flow from the operations or by using net income of the company the formula is quite simple fcff is equal to your cash flow from operation less any capex okay and the next is second this is the first method uh, you have second type of cash flow that is fcfe which i discussed in the very beginning that is free cash flow from the equity and is it's a cash flow available for the equity shareholders of the company the amount shown how much shows how much the cash can be distributed to the equity shareholders of the company as dividend or stock buybacks after all the expenses reinvestments and the debt repayments are taken care of so the fcff is also called as the levered free cash flow right and uh, the formula is again the same the fcff is equal to fcfe is equal to your free cash flow from the firm plus any net borrowings or net debt less any interest and it will be post tax that is one minus tax thank you everyone